<laughs> hello, hello. Welcome on into another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Sarah. I'm Matt. We're filming this twice. Damn it. <laughs> ha ha. On this Saturday's The Core Series, we're exploring Hermie and Walker's Creme de Coco. This is the dark. And this is the second time we're filming this. Yay. Mm. Uh, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell. Matt, why don't you uh, tell Quickly, us about this? I heard you about it again for our second time since we didn't push record. <laughs> All right, Harry Walker's the creme de coco, the dark version in the lovely brown bottle. For You just can't somehow tell the difference. All right, it is a wonderful 30 proof, so 50%. Yay. Brazilian, Venezuelan, cocoa. Except for this one is with a dark chocolate mane. It's a little heavier, a little bit less, a little more bitter. And they add caramel coloring, so you can layer it. But you have to make sure this one's on the bottom because it's heavier than the white one. Yay. All right. Thank you, monks, for making beautiful cream de cocoa. Good job. This was all so much better. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> and there was much rejoicing. Yay. They're like, monks made alcohol. Yes. Yay. So let me remember like what I said. <laughs> Much like uh, the description implies, this one does smell darker. Yeah, it is. It's darker. definitely dark chocolate, and I'm smelling a lot less vanilla than on the uh, yeah, I don't know the clear version of this. In the powder, there's not yeah. as much powder there. Yeah. Have that cocoa powder smell. Yeah, this yeah, is more no like powder. an actual chocolate bar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but a little bit of espresso. Yes. Mm. Yeah, it does totally have an espresso feel for it. Mm -hmm. It smells nice. nice. Coffee right. bean vibe. Yeah. Mm. All right, let's do this. Mm. Mm. Much twice. luckier. We'll have to drink it twice and make bad faces. Huh? Thanks, Matt. You're welcome. <laughs> That's oh, good. Totally. I like it. So, but yeah, it's nice and bitter. Much more bitter dark chocolate. Looks much more espresso like cheap color. I, I wouldn't go so far as to say it's nice and bitter. I would go so far as to say there is a bitter accent to a very sugary substance. Well, creamed, creamed, and it does since the French word does mean high sugar content. It's not yes. very. Yeah. Hey, well, like I said, it's a two thousand, you know, two thousand two San Angelo purchase for like seven bucks. So good job. It does have a a bitter content to it. It does have that espresso. It leans towards that espresso, which makes me actually like this one better than mm. the white one. Yes. Um, I, I, that espresso vibe is what makes me like this one more yep. and it's, and because it's not as sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All that sugar makes me like both of them the same. <laughs> <laughs> he hates them. It's fine. It does make a great brandy Alexander. So we got in a, a nice chocolate martini. So we got that going for us. We got that going for us. Good. All right. I like it. I think that's the fastest review we've ever done. Good Twice. job. <laughs> and we were like the dark better than the white. That's all I can say. It's delicious. Good yeah. for cocktails. Yeah, I agree. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell and join us live on Monday nights. And until next time, keep on crusading for the liquids in your glass. Cheers. Cheers. I'm not adding copy to that bitch. You dirty bastards. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Can you force me? Yeah. Sure, I don't have very much of this left. It won't take, yeah, it won't take very long. Can you, is this yours? Mm, yes. Okay. I you put don't. coffee in mine. Can you pour some water in, in there, please? I can. Oh, sorry. I want to give it a little rinse to get. Um... No, how much water you get? <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Coffee. Ooh. This uh, this single malt mixture, the Dusk of Dawn mixture, has been sitting there for a little bit. And it's gotten really tropical. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. nice. Yeah. Got a lot more uh, mango and papaya on it. 